There's Habwa that we want. There's the Miscracking. We're chasing Habwa. To the best of our ability. Yep, we were sustaining pretty hard over here. We need to ult out to get some time. And we kill him the Habwa here. Still sustaining inside the pool of his death. They don't realize that I'm healing so, so much. We pop in Thorns here. Good shit, still alive. Honor goes down as well to Shivalanki. And that's four people dead, by the way. And just, just look at my health. Pretty much unkillable. What is up, beautiful people? It's Soden here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Kamazas and the Solo Lane Ranked Master's Conquest against what looks like a Amaterasu. I assume it's Amma, right? It should be. So we're playing Solo Lane. Not something that I do very often, but this this is this is just ridiculous. Kamazas is insane right now in the Solo Lane, and I know for a fact that we're gonna just completely destroy this man. And afterwards, we're not gonna die. We're just, just straight up not gonna die. We're gonna be goddamn unkillable. Uh, we're starting off with a two, uh, which a lot of people will say is not a bit good pickup. And that we're wrong, because we need our sustain on the buff, on the first buff. So I'm keeping close attention to the blue buff. And I'm clearing better than her with my AoE autos anyway. I need for him to wait, like, big time, but... I have a strong feeling that he might not too. No, he actually did wait. He actually knows what's up. That That's great. So we now have a stack on our passive. And one of the very, very important things on Kamazos is to keep track of those. And uh, keep track of the buffs. Uh, they are there for a very long time. It's five minutes. We need to keep track of those and keep them up. Because they don't go down anymore when you die. We're taking unnecessary damage here. Because she popped level two. Because Thor cleared up the mini, so we didn't pop level 2 with her. So she kind of outboxed us here, which is unfortunate. But we're gonna heal up a lot with her 3. She gets the first totem, which is unfortunate, but not a big deal. We still have sustain, and we get them back as soon as we have enough for Berserker's shield. At which point, I become entirely unkillable for her. I'm gonna heal up with her 3 here. Just make sure that she doesn't hit me with that, clear. Get some power, get the slow... She's gonna get out, yeah. But as you can see, uh, my damage spikes are very big and my sustain is insane. Oh, she just threw it out there like that, I guess. Keep poking her out. She's healing with her one, which is understandable. As you can see, the OU attacks with my passive give me a lot of sustain. And we're not even there. We doesn't even have Berserkers. We pop both of those, so she won't be able to heal back. She still keeps getting poked. She feels the pressure. And we get that pressure for the next totem that just spawned, which is nice. Even more. That also gives us a stack of power. So whenever I hit my one, she cannot actually box. Keeping close attention on the blue buff, we need a second stack in our passive. Because if we miss that, there's more likely than not we won't be able to uh, maintain our stacks. And we're gonna start over again, which is very unfortunate. Ideally, there is no reason for you not to be able to maintain the buff for the whole duration of the game. Considering that it's over 5 minutes. Considering that it's 5 minutes, and 5 minutes in the game is a lot of time. So we get the stack on the big boy, we got 2 stacks now, and we have Berserker Shield. Also, the reason why we didn't have enough uh, so many potions because I knew that I will back early and I want to rush that Berserker shield. She's backing, so we get him back off here. She's gonna miss a couple minions here. That's definitely gonna be one. And if she's not fast enough, it's gonna be two. I think she got that one, but it's fine. Now we can start clearing. She's still very much spooked. Quite understandable. We now even in. Uh levels but i should have more farm than she does missed my two which is unfortunate she thinks she can box me which is just simply not true the good thing about this matchup is that if she ults we have an ult as long as i keep it uh she cannot really do a whole lot she decides to go for me instead of the clear 
What she don't realize is that my sustain is absolutely insane. Look at me, I'm full HP right now. I was very low, but I, I just don't care. Ah, oh, that was close. I'm gonna grab this totem. It's extra gold for my team, and there's nothing else to do. Just allow her to poke herself out a little bit. That's why the totem is here, just to give the breathing room for the solo laner under pressure. She immediately pops out, is fine. Is she actually gonna back? We're not gonna let her. She zooms, so we're not letting her. And the dot on the two is gonna keep her here for longer. I think the timings on their blue was mistimed, so she actually goes there for the blue, I think. Because my Thor at some point was pretty late. But th that's just it. We just won the lane already. We, we already did it. She didn't kill us before the Berserkers, that's it. She cannot kill me anymore. She's gonna be like that until the time that I take tower. And I'm gonna take the tower very, very soon. I want more pressure. Unfortunately, I can kill her here pretty easily. Don't even need to ult out, but I guess I will. Just to make sure that I don't die from the tower. I'm gonna mark those minions for XP and gold, and go for the blue, I don't want to miss it. Ideally, I should have had gone for the blue, it was a good timing for that, and pop another stack of my passive, that would max it out, and at this point my sustain is unbeatable. But I decided to go for the kill, because I saw the opportunity. We mark more minions, they're killing each other, she's not getting a part of that XP, which is preferable. Get some sustain with my 2 and my 3. Get some sustain with the Berserkers and my passive. And as you can see, we're full HP again. Getting out of the wave to not get popped by her clear. And in 20 seconds, we're backing for another item. Full item stack on my boots. She just came back from the lane. So if we engage her directly, I can get a lot of damage on her and put the pressure back. We're healing up. She, oh, unfortunately my two is missing and I'm maxing it out, so that's very important to hit, but look at this, she cannot do anything. I'm tanking the full wave and her. Wanna bait her a little lo longer. Nah, she, she doesn't take the bait, she backs off, it's fine. Let's pop uh, the totem passive, get some MP5 going, and just stay in the lane for a little bit to make sure that I get all of that experience in gold while I'm backing. We grabbed a bit more sustain and a ward because that's about the time that we should be gained by the junglers and stuff like that. And yeah, pretty much. We now swing pretty fast uh, from the Berserkers and the uh, attack speed boots. We have insane sustain and my passive is running out. Unfortunately, I think I will have to miss the passive here. But we can kill her yet again. Yeah, easy stuff. Gonna pick this up and join the fight. Unfortunately, yeah, my passive is running out, but this fight is just too good to let go. We can pop this while we're at it. I need to get that XP in gold. Just mark the minions here. I wish Thor had waited for the buff. Yeah, that that loses. I should have went for the buff. It's my bad. It's my mistake. It's fine. We have so much control in the lane, so it doesn't even matter. At this point, we are already at the point where she cannot do anything about us. Look, she's just melting. And I'm healing through all of her damage easily. Welcome back to the lane. But that's not even the ugliest part of this. I'm gonna do that in the team fights with a lot of D and nobody's gonna be able to kill me. Oof. She juked that pretty well. Somehow I didn't take the stack of that. We need a word up over here just in case of ganks. The good part about it that they have Habwa. Habwa cannot kill me. Come over. Okay, she did came over and almost died for oh that's why she did Athena's here well that gives you nothing my girl actually 
I can fight you too. Let's go. Missed my two, unfortunately. She's not slowed, so she can get out easily. But yeah, I don't know what she was expecting here. So you taunted me. That's great. Okay, we took some more damage. Nothing that matters. She's just wasting her time here. Oh, here's Habwa. We got our ult. And we need to uh, tell our team to attack the Gold Fury. Three and right. They're not really paying attention, but it should be a free Gold Fury, especially that Athena just back to the base. Simple stuff, really. We're super safe. We're super sustainable. And yeah, you just can't gank that shit. Unless you sit in my lane for extremely long period of time, you just can't gank me. You need to take my ult and then come back and gank me again. Hoping, just hoping that you have enough to kill me, which most of the time you don't have enough. You just don't. She's backing. She's going to use her TP and we're going to grab her blue buff. Uh, unfortunately, it's not here. Well, we're going to get for our, go for our blue buff. And get that stack on our pass and start stacking up again. Oh, okay. I love when that happens. That happens, unfortunately, a lot more time, a, a lot more often than you would have wanted. Just gonna wait for my two to respawn. Yes, there you go. Another pot, another ward, and unfortunately, we don't have enough void shield, but it's fine. We missed just half of the wave. We're gonna stall here for a little bit because I have no eyes on Amaterasu. She's coming back. She's doing the totem. Okay. I kind of chase her down to the totem, oh, so she decided not to miss that experience, I guess. She got tanky, but the thing is, I also did I, and she still cannot fight me. I can be like a super bully, because we have her ult, we can push, we can literally dive her tower at this point and get, get out safely. Because the dash of my ult from three dashes is about half of the lane. And more often than not, with my leap, I will be under the tower from her tower line easily. So when we're out of that experience, just get some damage, good hits. She's healing quite a bit with her one. Not much I can do about that. At this point, it's pretty much a stalemate. My team is a bit ahead, which is nice, but overall, it's pretty much a stalemate. Oh, she rotates from mid. Which is unfortunate, but we're gonna rotate towards her, get the wave that she is missing at this moment. And just try and kill a bunch of people. I don't care about all that damage. There's so many pools uh, with healing for me that if I stand in those, they cannot see that I do. That's honor, that's three people we're fighting. That's four people actually. Five people here, okay, I guess. I'm still totally fine with this. We need to focus uh, Poseidon. Because Athena doesn't matter, and Poseidon is dead. Dealing that damage. Going for Athena here, we can slow her down. Nope, she dashed out. Okay, fine. Hawa just ulted, and we're still chasing Athena just to give vision for Shibalanki, so he won't get caught. And that's one dead, Hawa. Still chasing Athena, same idea. Oh, she's she she wants to die for the tower, but it's not killing her fast enough. She's too tanky for her own good, and that kind of gave us the kill. <laughs> she thought she can suicide like that on the support. That's not how it works, my girl. Oh, hello, Honor. What you doing? Welcome back, little lane. So you get the general idea of what's gonna happen later on. Let's back for some more D. At this point, we have uh, one and a half physical defense. So we're going into magical defense because they have Poseidon and Habwa with major damage ults in mid and jungle. So having some magical defense is preferable. Oh, she's on a totem. We're gonna pop her, slow her down, get some swings in. Oh, 
Station. Oh, hello, Hamwa. You don't want to fight me. I want to fight you, though. Although we don't really have as much defense. Good juke. I would prefer to fight Hamwa right now because I can out-sustain him pretty easily. And if he wastes his ults, I can just ult myself and still be safe. There's a big fight in mid, which means that we're proxying the wave. Because I don't want to stalemate for more. We're just going to wait up a little bit. Proxy the wave and rotate for the mid. And do something there. Let's see if their buffs are up. This is up. It's not much, but it's mine. Let's see if the uh, speed is up as well. That'll be a good hit for Habwa. It's not it, but we got it worded. We can pop this tower, it's super low. And keep rotating for the Gold Fury. Looks like they're not actually doing the Gold Fury. So we get, can get some of that farm as well. Okay, they're doing gold at this point. No, that's not gold. Hello, Poseidon, what you doing here? Is that your ult? Gonna pop our thorns, make him kill himself. Yeah, that's the meter going down. Oh, hello, Amaterasu. You rotated way too long. Uh, Janice is in trouble, so we need to engage her. Otherwise, she would have gone on him. He's safe now. We can disengage. It's fine. That's Habba. I need him to ult. Okay, now we're completely safe and we can zone him out and straight up murder the man. I missed. Oh, that minion, he saved her. I can heal up over here. They cannot do anything about it. Just gonna stand over here and not uh, have a cure in the world. Oh, you wanna back? I'm not gonna let ya. Amaterasu actually backed and he's now in danger. He has to run. Oh, that's his blink for the Ganesh ult. I guess it works out pretty well for us. I'm trying to jump this to the best of my ability to get the extra stack on the passive, but apparently the jump is no longer a thing. I still managed to do that, but that was silly. I need to get Gold Fury here. Can be taken down easily, but... My team just doesn't rotate. It's fine. We're gonna force them up a little bit. If Lifesteal have sustain, we can out-sustain the Gold Fury damage pretty easily. I think I'm still gonna keep doing it. Athena is not a problem here. That's Janus. Uh, Janus secured it pretty well. Nobody except for uh, uh, Athena rotated, so we got it free. And now we're gonna back for full bulk of hope and become even more unkillable. Oof, that's rough. Looks like Thor decided to put down my tower for no reason. But it's fine. I was ready to do that myself, but... Also, a wasted ult. That's, that's very neat. Amtras is coming here, but we're just gonna apparently straight up take down the, time, uh, the tower. Looks like Thor has the same idea, so we're gonna commit. Thor actually dies for it, but I don't have a care in the world. I can box you, my man. Just walk this way. Jumping away. I kind of want uh, Poseidon to crack in there, but it didn't happen. They cannot chase me down at this point. Yeah. Athena is super committing, and it doesn't work. Okay, looks like we're fighting for people here. That was not a bad pillar. I'm gonna disengage a little bit, make sure that we can sustain. Oh, hello, Poseidon, what you doing? Can I chase you down a little bit? I'm not sure if it's water here, so I can maybe catch them. Oh, look at this man thinking he can kill me. That's cute. That's just a support and solo laner. They cannot do anything about me, but it's not like I can murder them. Eventually, they will just stop running. So, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll focus on this thing. Oh, she out-secured me. Unfortunate. 
but it just means that we popped it instead of Haboa getting the gold and Haboa is out farmed by three levels so it still works in our favor anyway forcing them to take it down and apparently she even picked it up which is even worse we can safely go here for pyromancer as you understand um, it just doesn't do damage to me Janus missed the secure I managed to secure it with my three which is nice but we are a little bit unsafe here because I did that so should watch out we don't have an ult as well I'm gonna have her ult in a couple seconds so we're just gonna keep slamming her there's Habwa that we want, there's the Miss Kraken. We're chasing Habwa to the best of our ability. Yep, we're sustaining pretty hard over here. We need to ult out to get some time and we killing the Habwa here. Still sustaining inside the pool of his death. They don't realize that I'm healing so, so much. We pop in thorns here. Good shit, still alive. Honor goes down as well to Shibalanki. And that's four people dead, by the way. And just, just look at my health. Pretty much unkillable. Do you anywhere notice that I just fought five people? Because I don't. That gives us the free fire giant. Kraken was used. They only have Poseidon alive. I need to renew my passive before, before it wins down. And the great thing happens again. Look at this. Some high quality coding from our developers here. Yeah, that's some quality development time over here. So we picked up a full metal at Discord. We now have uh, some CDR finally. The one thing that I really, really miss here. And we can probably chase down this Poseidon. If the team pays attention, they should rotate for the left and catch him. Looks like Shibalanki is taking the Phoenix for free. Oh no, he did not succeed. We got the, the Poseidon anyway, but just look at that Phoenix, it's so unfortunate. Looks like Thor wants to kill himself again on the Phoenix as well. If he had the ult, I would have understood why he would do that, but now he should be very much dead. But it just looks like the enemy team just didn't rotate to that, so he safely walks out. That's great, we get the phoenix off of it. Look at that damage, holy shit! He almost one-shot this man. What is up? I should play more Janus. Oh, there's two people that cannot fight me. Anyone wants a red buff? Come on, guys. <laughs> Looks like they just did. Nobody wants a red buff these days. We can tank it. You can see that I just get no damage off of it. I guess I'm picking this up. I'm not gonna rotate to the right lane anytime soon. We're in our passive yet again. And we're now swinging a little bit faster, so that gives us a little bit more sustain. I'm pushing hard on the left while my team is fighting in mid. We're quite ahead, so they're very successful at that. And I'm just gonna make sure that those minions reach the tower when it is convenient for us. Looks like Shibalanki is not committing to the objective, so it's not going down. I mean, I'll just pop this Phoenix anyway. We're gonna get it. Now they have to spread both sides and Shibalanki finally gets an in on the Phoenix. And this Phoenix is going down as well. Can I swing her down? No, I don't think so. But it's not like I'm still not full HP, right? Let's call somebody from our team. They should pay, start paying attention by this time. Oh, I missed that, huh? Let's just ult. She blinks away as soon as I ult. That's unfortunate. 
I think Hubba just died with his ult up. I don't know what that feeling is. I uh, never had that happen in my entire career. Like how people just die with instant ult that makes you invulnerable and deals uh, one shot damage is unknown to me. And that's pretty much securing the game. We got all the phoenixes despite my whole team being dead. I, I know that I'm super safe in there just doing that silly stuff. As far as I'm concerned, from what I see, not on, nobody on the enemy team is capable of fighting me and nobody on the enemy team is capable to kill me no matter what. So I can do pretty much whatever I want here. And what I want to do here is grab this red buff and back some items because we have 4k gold. Since I really don't feel like I'm getting killed anytime soon, I decided to opt for more damage to finally drive the point home. We are 8-0-8. Which kind of is self-explanatory, we are nearing the divine state. We have never been killed, and we're doing pretty well, I think. Grabbing this fire giant for even more insane sustain. Pushing on the right, popping down this phoenix. And finishing the game is what I'm thinking is gonna happen next. But you never know. Thor's looking for an ult, which is understandable. He finds a double stun. That's Poseidon, cracking my thorns. I'm still alive. From what I see, the most damage I take is from honor. Let's kill Hubba here, we're gonna ult out for some more damage before we die. And now we're straight up just tanking fire, uh, just tanking Titan, making sure that my team pops it down. Aw, oh, I still died. That's unfortunate. I died with a Titan having 17 HP. And we didn't exactly got divine, but I was pretty much there, right? 12, 20 kills participation, pretty much unkillable state. Just Kamazots needs a nerf. So in terms of builds, uh, we're going Berserkers into attack speed boots. That kind of makes us unkillable against the physical solo laner. We're just swinging AoE attacks, just swinging with our passive that gives us passive flight steal. You just never stop swinging. Whatever happens, you're just there, you know? You're just jazzing it. Just throwing the jazz hands, you know? And you're just swinging and swinging and swinging and all of a sudden you just discover that the enemy solo laner is dead and you're still full HP. We're going into Void Stone because that gives us some more additional penetration HP to increase the healing from our Berserkers, some additional defense because it gives actually just the same defense as any good physical defense item, a little less than Nemean Lion that gives the most defense in the game. Bulwark Hope is something that I personally like to pick up, a lot of people will pick up Pestilence here because it's much cheaper and I picked up the Bulwark Hope to get that shield and catch people off guard because they expect me to die any second now and then the shield pops and I heal back again while the shield is up and they're being caught off guard thinking that these abilities are definitely going to kill me and then they throw them away I'm still alive, I'm still sustaining back and they have no cooldown so they don't know what to do anymore Mental a discord because I just had a shit ton of money and the stun on the discord is another way to prevent them from finishing you off and allowing to you, you to sustain back. It also provides some CDR, pretty much preferable and heart seeker because at this point I felt unkillable. If I didn't feel like that way and I've been more focused by characters who can actually kill, something like a nemesis or something that can have 100% anti-heal, like Chung Nga for example, I would have went for mode D, but with this I just want to kill people. So we picked up a heart seeker. Comparatively to the enemy soul laner, we have 12, 20 kills participation out of 33, which is way over a half. And Amaterasu has 5 out of 19. She has 0 kills and 5 assists. I don't know how these people get diamond borders and are in my master's rank games. 
And in terms of damage, uh, we have 28k comparatively to the enemy solo laner, not even close. I out damage her by almost twice the amount. I am also the highest wards, second highest wards on my team. Nobody on either team warded up too poorly. All of us might have had well over 10 wards by this time. It's 27 minutes into the game. Comparatively, our support in terms of damage out damages the enemy Athena, mitigates more wards actually less than her which is still a significant amount our mid laner comparing to the enemy poseidon out damages him by almost twice the amount yet again uh, also participating in obviously way more kills the warding is substantial but nothing crazy our uh, thor somehow gets out damaged by the enemy habwa but still his presence and impact was a lot more noticeable and our adc is out damaging the honor by some amount, nothing crazy, uh, just me simply stomping the enemy solo later and then what I call spilling the cancer to the other lanes. It, when you win the solo lane that hard and you just start appearing in other lanes, if they're like struggling or behind, you just crush their spirit. Them popping five people on myself and unable to destroy me, popping Krakens and every other ultimate and just seeing me sustaining, sustaining through this whole thing while killing people during the fight is something that drives the point home. And at this point you see the F6 spam on the enemy team and all that kind of crazy stuff that happening in rank right now. And yes, that'll be the Camazot solo laner guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video nerf that shit it's not okay i mean as much fun as i'm having playing him and i that's my go-to solo laner right now because i'm grinding through the ranks as much fun as i'm having playing this like it needs a nerf it's just unfair it's really unfair and it's really frustrating and there's really not a whole lot you can do about camazots and solo lane unless they nerf this guy and he needs a nerf and hopefully guys you enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe and ring that notification bell it helps the youtube algorithm think that you enjoy my videos and spread the content to other people which is much appreciated if you want to ask me a question leave a comment i respond to every single comment on my channel if you like the video leave a like on the video it also helps the youtube algorithm and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day